Hey everyone, Zane here, and today we're going to compare between Flutter Flow versus Flutter. And in this video, I'll tell you exactly which one is best for you and your project. So in my opinion, one of them is easier to use and one of them is best for more complex projects. And the other one is easier and just helps you create projects quicker. And the other one is just better for simpler projects or if you require a quick turnaround. So let's go and compare them. Now first, what exactly can you do with them? Where can you publish the apps, etc. Now on Flutter, you have a few examples right here on the website. So this is a money transferring app. This one right here is some kind of a map app. Here you can book a resort, so you can really build any kind of app. You can even build a game, as you can see here, but you'll see it is for a specific platforms. So for mobile, you can see it on iOS right here, and you can build web apps. So that's for desktop. You can also build embedded apps to embed into a website. Now Flutterflow on the other hand is pretty similar, but in my opinion, Flutterflow is the easier option. It has a really easy to use visual development environment, which you can see right here, here where you can really easily just drag in elements into your app. And it's just pretty straightforward in my opinion. If you are looking for an app builder that provides more control and flexibility, and potentially if you require more in-depth development work, then I would go with Flutter. However, Flutterflow offers a more accessible starting point to most people with visual development, which you can see here how it works and that makes it suitable for simpler projects and projects that need a quick turnaround. So if you want to create a simpler project and you don't have much experience, then I would go with Flutterflow. If you want more control and basically more flexibility, then I would go with Flutter. Now, in terms of pricing, you can get started with Flutterflow completely for free. And if you actually want to launch your app on the App Store or Google Play Store, then it costs $70 per month. Now Flutter doesn't have a straightforward pricing plan, but most likely it's much more expensive to create an app on Flutter compared to Flutter Flow. Because the expenses associated with developing a Flutter app can fall anywhere between $10,000 and $200,000 and above. So Flutter is a lot more expensive to build a full app compared to Flutter Flow. So keep that in mind when making your decision. So that concludes this comparison of Flutter Flow versus Flutter. If this comparison was helpful, please drop a like, subscribe, leave us a good comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you in a new video.